In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, welcome all of you to this 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. I offer this Mass for the beauty of parishioners. In today's Gospel, we see a man who wanted to be enlightened by Jesus. He asked him, Good Master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? In answer to his question, Jesus pointed out a necessity of following the commandments, but also a need of being free from material things. Sometimes we are not totally free. So let us ask God to forgive us all our weaknesses. Lord Jesus, you call your people to turn away from sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You teach us wisdom and write your truth in our inmost heart. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You forgive sins through the ministry of reconciliation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of the world. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, mighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. To our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed and understanding was given me. I entreated and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I esteemed her more than scepters and thrones. Compared with her, I held riches as nothing. I reckon no priceless stone to be her peer, but compared with her, all gold is a pinch of sand and beside her silver ranks as mud. I loved her more than health or beauty, preferred her to the light, since her radiance never sleeps. In her company all good things came to me, at her hands riches not to be numbered. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of the heart. Lord, relent. Is your anger forever? Show pity to your servants. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exalt and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Show forth your works to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favour of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The word of God is something alive and active. It cuts like any double-edged sword, but more finely. It can slip through the place where the soul is divided from the spirit, or joints from the marrow. It can judge the secret emotions and thoughts. 
No created thing can hide from him. Everything is uncovered and open to the eyes of the one to whom we must give account of ourselves. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia. 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 Happy the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was setting out on a journey when a man ran up, knelt before him, and put this question to him Good Master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You must not kill. You must not commit adultery. You must not steal. You must not bring false witness. You must not defraud. Honor your father and mother. And he said to him, Master, I have kept all these from my earliest days. Jesus looked steadily at him and loved him, and he said, There is one thing you lack. Go and sell everything you own and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. But his face fell at these words, and he went away sad, for he was a man of great wealth. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were astounded by these words, but Jesus insisted, My children, he said to them, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. They were more astonished than ever. In that case, they said to one another, Who can be saved? Jesus gazed at them. For men, he said, it is impossible, but not for God, because everything is possible for God. Peter took this up. What about us? He asked him. We have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, I tell you solemnly, there is no one who has left house, brothers, sisters, father, children, or land for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, who will not be repaid a hundred times over houses, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and land, not without persecutions now in this present time and in the world to come, eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who of the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We turn to our loving God with our needs, confident that our prayers will be answered. For all members of the Church to have an undivided heart in following Jesus, Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For all peoples to have an undivided heart in seeking good, Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor to have an undivided heart in pursuing justice, Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us to have an undivided heart in sharing our riches, Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us say the prayer to St. Joseph together. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary, place her trust. With you, Christ became men. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life obtain for us grace mercy and courage and defend us from every evil amen good god you provide us with all things and keep us in your loving care hear these our prayers that one day we might possess eternal life with you in the age to come we ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, and for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might, to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the Church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you 
and with joy we proclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness Make holy, wherefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the Resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the Kingdom, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be. When the Lord appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear parishioners, all brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you very much for praying with us. Please join us again next week. Now, please receive God's blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The message ended. Go in the peace of Christ.